Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to transform any photo into awesome customizable kaleidoscopes. This is an update of a tutorial I did many years ago on a much earlier version of Photoshop. Open a photo that you'd like to use for this project. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock. The first step is to crop it into a square. Open your crop tool and click the clear button. This clears out the width, height, and resolution. In the width and height fields, type in 1000 pixels each and 150 pixels per inch. But you can choose other amounts if you like. Just make sure the height and width are the same. The aspect ratio remains square as you drag any of the sides in or out. Crop it to your liking. Then, click the check mark at the top. To zoom back in, you can press Ctrl or Command 0 to fit it back onto your screen, or press Ctrl or Command and the plus key to zoom back in incrementally. We'll convert it into a smart object so we can modify it non destructively and allow us to replace it with different photos without having to redo the effects. To do this, click the icon at the upper right and click Convert to Smart Object. Make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J. We'll rotate it 90 degrees by going to Edit, Transform, and Rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Make a copy of it and go back to Edit, Transform, and Rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Make one more copy and repeat the transform. Shift click the bottom layer to make all the layers active and change their blend mode to multiply. Then convert the layers into one smart object. Make a copy of it and open your transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. In the angle field at the top, type in 45, which rotates our image 45 degrees. Then press Enter or Return. Make a copy of the layer. Open your Custom Shape tool and Custom Shape Presets. If you're using CC or later, many of the shapes that came with earlier versions are missing from the list. However, you can retrieve them by going to Window and Shapes. This will open the Shapes panel. Click this icon and click Legacy Shapes and More. This will add the missing shapes back into your Shapes panel. Pick a symmetrical shape you like and make the shape into a path. Click the gear icon next to the thumbnail and tick Define Proportions and From Center. Go to the center and drag out the path. Open the Paths panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Paths. Click the icon at the right and click Make Selection. Keep the feather radius 0 pixels and click OK. Open back the Layers panel and click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the top layer. Make the middle layer active. If you see another shape in the panel that you'd like to use, just repeat the same steps. However, for my next shape, I'll use the Polygon tool so, I'll close this panel. I'll open my Polygon tool and I'll make the number of sides 50. I'll click the gear icon and tick Symmetric and From Center. I'll make the star ratio 50%, which will indent the path by 50%. If you're using this tool as well, feel free to experiment with these amounts. Go to the center and drag out the path. As before, Open your Paths panel, open the list, and click Make Selection. Click OK, and open back your Layers panel. Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of this selection next to the active layer. Make the top layer active, and scroll through the various blend modes to see how each one affects your kaleidoscope. For now, I'll pick Lighten. Make the middle layer active, 
and again scroll through the blend modes. I'll pick Multiply for this one. Next, we'll brighten our overall image. Make the top layer active and click the Adjustment Layer icon. Click Levels. For the input highlight level, type in 120. Next, I'll show you how you can adjust its colors. Click the top kaleidoscope to make it active and click the adjustment layer icon. Click Hue Saturation. It's important to know that an adjustment layer affects all the layers below them in the Layers panel. If you want it to affect just the one layer below it, click the Clipping Mask icon or go to Layer and Create Clipping Mask. Drag the hue to the left or right. To create a brand new kaleidoscope using a different photo, double click any smart object to open its source layers. Double click any of these smart objects to its source layer or layers. Keep doing this until you don't see any more smart objects in the layers panel. Place a new photo over it and close the PSB document. When you see this message, click Yes to save the changes. If you see another PSB document, close it and click Yes as well. Make any of the kaleidoscope layers active and play with their blend modes. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.